This is the big story presented by HerbChambers.com. Hi, this is Mark Arsenault. I'm a general assignment reporter here at the Globe Newsroom. The story today uh, has to do with some closed churches that have been a simmering issue for the Boston Archdiocese since pretty much the middle of last decade. Cardinal, Cardinal O'Malley has decided today that six closed churches will be put up for sale. Uh, the formal step that he took today was to desanctify those churches. This is going to be opposed by parishioners who have been fighting the closing of their parishes for six or seven years. Uh, in some of these churches, in three of them, parishioners have actually been staging vigils going on for years, just working in shifts, occupying the churches and refusing to leave. Uh, the church hasn't, doesn't have any plans to force people out of the buildings yet, but they say the end is coming and the churches will be sold, the church buildings will be sold, and the money will be used to support existing parishes around the archdiocese. The move doesn't really come out of nowhere. I mean, the Cardinal has uh, hinted at this now for uh, as much as, probably as long as a year. The churches that are affected are in Wellesley, Lowell, Quincy, Revere, Situate, and East Boston. Two other churches, one in Framingham and the other in Everett, are going to live on, though, with slightly different missions. Uh, in Everett, the church there will be attached to another parish and used to, uh, as a place of worship for the Brazilian community, a robust Brazilian community of Catholics out there. Masses, masses will be said in Portuguese, which is the language of Brazil. And in Framingham, uh, the church is in negotiations to transfer that building to a congregation of uh, Eastern Rite Catholics that has been worshiping there.